There's only one thing I absolutely insist on buying brand new for the baby. Welcome to Diligent Dad. I'm Andrew. It's my mission to the channel to support you in your early steps of fatherhood. 20 week scan was last month. We're now into the, the lower risk half of the pregnancy and the excitement's building. Okay, we might not be thinking, right, this baby's coming quite soon. Uh, is the house big enough? Are we close enough to good schools? And what I'd say to you is that the baby's gonna be sleeping in your room for the first six months of its life, give or take. So actually you've got plenty of time. You don't, don't, it might feel like there's a growing rush of the, the birth coming, but we don't need to be rushing into mega big decisions just yet. You'll have that first six months of the baby's life to reconsider major factors like that. One thing you might want to consider now is just to be aware that that baby is going to come, even though it's just born and it's a tiny, tiny little person fits in your hands like this, that baby's going to come with a lot of gear. So you just might want to think to yourself, the one thing you might consider now is whether the car is big enough. You've got enough boot space to fit that buggy, fit the travel cart, fit uh, the play mats and everything else and the bottles and things that are going to come with that new baby. Speaking of which, you may be wanting to now think about sitting down and writing out a list of everything that you're going to need for, for the new baby, for the car, for the nursery, for, for everywhere else in the home. Uh, to help you with that, if you go back to my eight months to go video, you'll be able to see that list, a very rough list, including costings on there. Um, of what, so you can plan the things that you need to get by uh, over the next four or five months. And when it comes to buying all this stuff, the, uh, the big brand market machines would have us believe that we need to be going out there to spend thousands on fancy buggies, cots, smell isolating bins, guilty. But we absolutely don't, okay? The things like Facebook Marketplace, eBay, Gumtree are incredible for all this stuff because essentially other parents, once they've used their bits and pieces for a couple of years, probably still in reasonably good nick, it's only a baby's been using it right. Um, then try and offload all that gear on places like Facebook Marketplace. So get yourself on there, see what's available in your local area, certainly before you go out spending uh, hundreds and thousands on, uh, on lots of new gear. Now the one thing that I absolutely will insist on buying brand new is the child's car seat, because what you need to be 100% sure of is that that car has never been, or that car seat's never been dropped, and it's also never been uh, used or never been used in a vehicle where there's been an accident that's happened. Because essentially there could be hairline fractures inside that chair, which wouldn't be visible to the naked eye. And if your son or daughter is in that car seat, whenever it's involved in another accident, heaven forbid, um, that car seat may not protect your child the way it should do. And that to me is a risk not worth taking. So I absolutely insist on going out and buying a brand new car seat when it's required. You've been watching Diligent Dad. I'm Andrew. Hit subscribe and the bell icon and you'll be notified when I'm dropping new videos twice a week. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.